How we doing guys? Dime JG here and today Coventry City 3, Man United 3, 4-2 on penalties. Man United advanced to the final. Um I don't even know what to say, man. I'm gobsmacked, man. Like that game I've I've never been speechless after a game like I was speechless today. I, I don't even like it's unbelievable what's going on. Unbelievable stuff. Um, we were 3 0 up, right, in the game. 3 0 up. And we blow a 3 0 lead. Scott McTominay gives us the lead. Then Maguire at halftime scores a header. Bruno Fernandez scores. We're up 3 0. We're Man United. We're not Stoke City. And then they score one back. I'm like, lock in. It's 3 1. Then they score again. It's 3 2. And they're right back in the game. 10 minutes to go. Then the 92nd minute of added time. Wambasaka's hand goes out a little bit. Penalty. Now they got a penalty in the 90th minute. It's 3 2. Then they go on to make it 3 3. Now we're in extra time. We're going over to overtime. The game goes on and on and on. Then in the 120th minute, Ten Hag was inches from losing his job. Inches. I could, if it wasn't for VAR, they would be through. Inches. That offsides call was inches. We were inches from going out. Literally. Inches. Unbelievable. To Coventry City. Unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. This team is a is, is just a, a heart attack, dude. Like it's walking ball of stress. You look at the players, they look dejected. They, they didn't even celebrate the win. Because they they're like, man, like the way we went through is embarrassing. It really is. We blew a 3 0 lead and we were inches from going out. They almost scored they, they scored in the hundred and twenty second minute. They literally scored the last kick of the game. Inches from going out of the tournament. Inches. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Their fans were on Pluto, Coventry City. They're on Pluto. They've come back from 3 0 down. Because we've let them back into the game. It's unbelievable, man. Like I, I've never been gobsmacked at a game as much as that one. That is one of the craziest games I've ever seen in the, my whole 10 years of supporting this team. Unbelievable. It's crazy, man. That would have went down if we would have lost as one of the worst. I, I think that would have been the worst upset in history. I Please let me know in the comment section if there's a wor if there would have been a worse upset than losing coming from them coming back from 3-0 down and we lost. That would have been the biggest upset in history. And it's against Man United. The trolling, the banter, the memes, all the stuff. People probably had it ready. When they scored in the 120th minute, they were ready. They were ready. I thought it was over. I really did. I thought that was over. And they called it off sides. I was like, wow, man. They were ready. They were ready, man. They were ready. It would have been unbelievable to come back from 3-0 down and they would have scored in one 4-3 like that. Then we go to penalties. The, the two guys miss a penalty on their team, and we go through. Unbelievable, man. Now it's going to be Manchester City versus Man United, the Manchester Derby in the FA Cup Finals, 25th of May. This manager is scraping by, man. Scraping by, by inches. I, I don't even know what else to say, man. Like, ain't no, any sensible Man United fan, right, that's going to come on here and do these reactions or whatever, um, I've heard Mark Goldbridge or whatever. I, I was watching Rant stream. Um, apparently, he's celebrating that shamelessly. I, 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 like, yes, I'm glad we went through. I'm glad we went, but that shit right there, man, that, that was a heart attack, man. That That's straight stress, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. And I'm happy we're through, but we got to face another um, demon in the final. We got to face Man City to win the tournament. But in order to get the tournament, you got to beat the best play the best teams. And they're not going to be playing. Because if we go 3-0 down to Man City, or if we go 3-0 up against Man City, I mean, what, are we going to blow the lead again? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But we will see, man. That's a month away. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Please let me know down below what you guys think of the game. That was one of the craziest games I've ever seen. Um, and it would have went down as the biggest choke in history if we would have lost. The Man United players weren't even celebrating after the win. They weren't even celebrating. They, they literally walked over and shook the other team's hand. They were like... Yeah, good game, man. Because, honestly, that, that game literally could have went either way. Literally, we could have lost in the 120th minute. So, they were like, yeah, good game. 
Uh, honestly, unbelievable stuff, man. I, I'm still gobsmacked about that. that. That's gobsmacked. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Like, I literally don't know what else to say. It, it's absolutely unbelievable stuff. Like, but we get through. We're into the final. We will see Man City on the 25th of May, and we will see what Man United are on, man. Because if we're not on, if we're not 100% serious on the 25th of May, we're gonna get fucking steamrolled. Because honestly, that today was embarrassing. It really, really was. To go up 3-0 and concede three goals like that is embarrassing. And drag it all the way to pens. Unbelievable. Um, I saw Rasmus Hoyland was doing it, you know, the ha 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 to the crowd. Hey, I hear it, man. I hear it. Um, you know, Ten Hag before the game was talking about injuries. This close. This close. I don't give a fuck about injuries. And every team's got injuries. Who doesn't have injuries? All these players probably got some type of niggle. Knock. They're playing through it. They're, this, a lot of these players are in pain, man. I'm telling you. These guys are playing with nine. So plus, they're playing every three days. So that's on the schedule thing as well. But but it doesn't matter. You got to rotate the team. You should trust all your players. You know? I mean, what the hell? Yes, you want to put your main people in, but you got to trust your team. And injuries aren't an excuse. But we'll see on the 25th of May, man. But we get through, man. Wow. Walking stress, man. But we're through. It's been my name with you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'm out, man. Let me know down below. Also, um, GG to Coventry, man. They tried. And honestly, if it wasn't for VAR, we would be out. We'd be out the tournament. I'm not going to lie. We'd be out. Because th that goal was going to stand if VAR wasn't there. So, yeah. It's been my name with you guys. And I'm out, man. Peace out.